I'm Fox 23 certified meteorologist Laura Mock. This morning we do have a 20% chance for a couple of showers to be moving through the area mostly just early on this morning and highest chances of seeing that happen are in the northern half of the area. As we go through the rest of the day, more sunshine expected, breezy south winds again, and temperatures are expected to be right around 80 degrees again too. Now, wind speeds are expected to be even stronger as we get to tomorrow. Gusts today could be as high as 40 miles per hour. We're bringing that up to 45 on Wednesday. Thursday is when we're expecting a cold front to come through the area. We'll still have some breezy winds over the weekend, but that's going to be bringing us much cooler temperatures. Now, while we wait for this cold front to arrive, we are going to have to deal with some more chances for showers and storms. Tomorrow, there's the chance for a few severe storms, mostly off to our west. We'll have to watch any of that activity if it develops and track it as it tries to move into our area. Overall chances for us sitting about a 30% chance. We bring this forward into Thursday. Our cold front is going to be making progress through the area during the first half of the day and into the afternoon. So by the time we see those showers and thunderstorms develop on Thursday, most of this is going to be to the east of our area. So the timing on this system is going to be everything for our storm chances, and we will be watching that very closely. Five day forecast showing Wednesday and Thursday as yellow impact days just because of the chance for some of those showers and storms. We could have some leftover rain around on Friday behind the cold front temperatures in the 60s, looking to be even cooler heading into the weekend high on Saturday only around 60 degrees with breezy north winds. Don't forget you can always stay up to date on the latest forecast right here on Fox23.com or the free Fox23 weather app.